Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt and this is Matt and Sarah's World. Today I'm playing Seven Days to Die. Now I've never played this before and I'm not starting from scratch. I've already got into this, I bought the game about a week ago now and I've been playing it to just get my thing, my words, English. Get a grip with the mechanics and how everything works. So basically the point of this game is to build yourself a base and to so it's a survival it's a horror survival game so you've got to build yourself a base fortify it and every seven days you get the zombie horde now as you can see i'm on day 21 so i'm due my third horde which as the days go on they increase in difficulty so you have to fortify your base more you also have your own management to take care of so food ammunition, blah blah blah, all that kind of stuff, um, health, water, so you have to, so it's a resource management game on top of everything else, which it's really fun, <laughs> it's one of those games that you can't seem to put down after you pick it up, so I've gotten, as you can see I've got a workbench, which allows me to craft some more advanced stuff, I've also got a campfire, which is where you cook and what have you on Ooh, steaks uh, I have a forge so I can make like iron and steel and stuff well I will be able to make steel and stuff then I have um, a crucible you have to have a crucible to make steel which is annoying um, so yeah with this game as well oh <laughs> a little word for the wise when you're looking through the materials if you did what I did you'll notice that if you want to make Iron, or oh, no, not iron. So, a forged iron, which is what you need to make various bits of equipment that you need clay. Now, when you go through the map and you start digging, you'll find a lot of clay soil. And obviously, you think to yourself, well, is that the same thing? No, it's not. To get clay, you have to put the clay soil into this section over here for the smelting and then that turns into clay. So as you see here, you've got your various resources within the forge itself. So you have to put, so like say you wanted iron. You can get iron bits, if you like, off of things that you smash up, like signs and cars and all this sort of stuff. No, and you get iron bits. Now you put those into the forge to turn to iron, to make into iron things, if that makes sense. Yes, no, maybe, three bags full. Ooh, candles. So, I has candles and I'm going to use these to light my way. Because the biggest problem with this is when it gets to a... <laughs> throw it at the wall and it sticks. Fabulous. Is um, you'll get a horde. And I found the easiest way to survive a horde is to um, obviously force them into an area. Well, that fucking worked, didn't it? Better. Better. So I'm just lighting this place up because through all the time I've been playing this, I haven't put much light around. So when I walk into my base, and it does get dark, very dark, that I can't see fuck all. Can I, there we go, so I'll say can I not attach this to an, to an outside wall? I can kind of, if that makes sense. There we go. Now this is a junk turret. I didn't craft this, I found this. I'm cold apparently. Beg your pardon. How am I cold? So yeah, because I decided in all my wisdom to build my base where roughly I I also have a drawbridge where I near enough first spawned. I spawned in a ice biome or water biome. So there are various biomes within the game as well. I do not suggest you build your base in an ice biome because it 
takes its toll because of the cold and all this. So as you can see, this is my base. I have fortified it quite well, I think. So that's a weak spot. I need to finish. I haven't quite finished around here yet. So what my plan is, eventually, is to build a pit. So you see down here, a pit. So that A, they've got to, obviously they can't, can I close this one on this side? I can. So they've got to get round the pit to start with to get to me. The only problem is because of where I've done that, it's a bit heavy kill. So I put loads on this side, so those are these spike trap things, because that seems to be where they were breaking into my base to start with. But the whole, my idea is to A, make it as hard as possible for them to get to me, which I'm going to do a pit that goes all the way around and quite deep. Now, as far as I'm aware, zombies don't take full, that could have hurt, don't take full damage. So, I'll have spike traps or something at the bottom to force them into that area. Uh, the biggest problem with these turrets is they only work if you're near them because they're like the basic level of turrets but even so I didn't craft it, I can't even craft those yet so the crafting system's very, I wouldn't say unique but very linear so as you, oh I've got points available so as you level up you unlock points and these points you use to unlock things and these abilities enable you to do different things so see how some of them are greyed out and I can't do them yet it's because I need to level up the basic the base level of that area <coughs> if that makes sense so once you've I should probably start doing that because I need I do need to start getting better tools. Um, but yeah, so you can use your. So, say for example, all of these won't become unlocked. You have to unlock the different air sections, like linearly. So, you do one, two, three, four, that way. But you don't have to do, like, all the strength, then all of the combat perks, and all of the general strength perks, and all of this. So, stuff like best one series with intelligence. So you see like some of these greyed out like Terran Syndrome, Physician and yeah, Science. That's because I'm not high enough in the general level, f in the general area first. So once you've increased the general area, you'll be able to increase the more of what's within it, if that makes sense. I am very pissed par. So 12.28. I have plenty of time still. So, what we are going to do is where's my ship? Am I going to fortify this anymore, or do I think this is enough? But the whole point of this is basically, obviously, they'll have a hard time getting through. If they ever do get through, I'm going to run up here, close this door, close this door. The, and remember to turn your things off if you're not using them because they do still take fuel you do have to manually turn them off uh, you're going to need fixing quite quickly uh, repair. so weaponry and stuff does wear out like all your tools and stuff do, does wear out and depending on what level you are depends on what well, not what level you are, what level your tools are, depends on what you need to fix them. So the whole point of this is to force them up here, so I can take them out before they get to me from a distance. That makes sense? So if they get through here, which the last horde night they did, they because once, once they found a, a path through, they will all follow that same path. This costs so much to make. Oh my god! I think it takes like a hundred forged iron, iron, 
plus like 20 springs plus uh, what else was it a load of other bits and bobs and all this you can build yourself so you can build a house from scratch if you want I didn't I just took I just found one I was like you'll do So I have plenty of time before the horde gets here. So am I going to start digging the pit? Or do I think this is going to be enough? Uh, I think that's probably going to be enough. What do I need? So I have food for now. I need... I have meds. So yeah, as you can see, you have to kind of it, it's a basic survival game with, well not basic, it's quite, a, uh, I wouldn't say it's massively complicated either, but it's it's unique in its own aspect of what you need to get, if that makes any sense. <laughs> and, I need to increase my hunting skills, so I can actually track things. Now, obviously, everything takes stamina, as it does in real life. So, what am I doing? Ooh, your food. Your food. Now, bearing in mind, these wild animals, a lot of them will attack you. If you don't kill them first, they do have a bit of a um, what's the word? I am encumbered. So you do have a maximum of what you can carry, but obviously the higher level you are, or well, the more you increase certain things, the more shit you can carry, as it were. But yes, whenever you see an animal in this game, if you can, kill it. Because, A, most of them attack you anyway. Especially like the wolves, the snow leopards, or whatever. And, B, food is fairly scarce in this game. One of the things I spent most of my time looking for is food. Because you'll find, especially if you're like me and you're in an ice biome, that your food is the, your stamina even, is the first to go down. So, that is my base, and obviously, we're gonna, obviously what I'm going to do to start with is when the horde first arrives is I'm going to stand here and I'm going to kill a lot of them, because killing zombies is a good way to get loads of experience. So, um, there are cargo drops in this game. How far away are you? You're fucking miles away! Look at that. That. That is where the cargo drop is. Jesus Christ. Um, oh yes, I have died a lot in this <laughs> this version of the game, on this save. I have died a fucking lot. So, it's not a case of, I've never died before, but you can change the settings of what happens when you die. Because obviously this is, uh, this is still an alpha, by the way, this game. It's, it's 18 point something, I believe, now, <laughs> in alpha. So I'm not quite sure what they're waiting for to release it fully, because I've seen fully released games that don't act as well as this. It is, don't act as well as this. This is a little bit buggy. Don't get me wrong. Like some of the loading screens take a month or some days, and it does tend to. It can bug out every now and then, where it just kind of freezes, and it's like, well, is it going to work? Isn't it going to work? But it's never fully frozen to the point that I can't do anything. It's frozen to the point that I have to wait a few seconds and then hope to God that the freeze hasn't killed me. But it's never been a case of it's frozen and the game's completely crashed on me. So, ideally what I need to do for actually, what's probably a good idea to do is cook this bloody food I found. Because it's 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 weird how they're f I think 
they're a bit harsh on their requirements for food. So, for example, if I want to make just grilled meat, it takes five fucking meat to make it. And, I mean, the best, that's the best food I've found so far for the amount it gives you back. Because it doesn't actually tell you on here, which is quite annoying. Um, just in case and do I have any eggs? I have one egg, I don't have an eggs box. Do I only have the one egg or do I actually have more than that? No, I only have the one. Box. that's one egg. actually I'll put that back in the other one because that's very full <laughs> as you can see there is a lot of shit you can get. Um, snow is obviously a good way to make water because snow plus an empty jar you can create water, you can create like murky water and then refine that even further to like normal water. And obviously in this game you can also get dysentery and stuff, which is very disconcerting. Why the fanfare? I'm not happy about that. Why is there a fanfare? I have not heard the military fanfare before, what does that mean? What does it mean? And if you look at the items at the bottom of the screen, you can tell some of... Oh, there's an item drop. I don't remember hearing the fanfare before though. But um, what... So each item has a number on it, that's what level of item it is. So, for example, a level one javelin or steel javelin is worse than a level three steel javelin, and the same way for a gun. A level one is better, or well, level two is better than a level one, and I think that's correct for all of the usable items. Yes, I have a chainsaw, but by the way, most of the items I've caught aren't because. I'm super duper and I'm really far in the game and I crafted them all. A lot of them, A, I've only just been able to start crafting them, or B, I found them in like item drops and like looting, because you can loot houses and stuff and you find all sorts of weird and wonderful things. So, it's getting late. I think the horde starts at like nine. I don't know why there's a fanfare though. Why is there a bloody fanfare? I might go over here just to quickly see if I can grab some eggs. Because there were a few nests over here at one point. But yeah, it's, it's weird. Some days I've had days where I found loads of animals, and other days I found literally none. It's like for food and stuff. So it's just like, what? Come on. And obviously, some stuff you can just pick up on the ground, like stones and what have you. But even like plants to get wood fiber, you have to bash them. To... There's a hound, a fox, a wolves over there. Hello, hello. How did I miss you all? Jesus, fuck me, where did you come from? Oh well, there's me complaining about no food and all of a sudden I get fucking inundated with pissing walls and things. What on earth? There's one more. There is one more. So, we're gonna reload you. How did I miss? To reload you. We're gonna reload you. I'm gonna try it with you because you. What time is it? Four. You have the most ammo. 
yes I know they make horrific sound when you shoot them however as you saw these guys attack me out of nowhere I didn't attack them first they came for me <laughs> it'd be nice if you could train these like train dogs and things and as you can see items do need repairing so as you can see I've still got fucking stone axe which is like the basic the very basic of basic axes I'd like to make a um, steel axe or a fireman's axe or whatever they call it because this one is getting very tiresome with how quickly it runs out <sighs> right now that we have meat for days finally I'm going to make food god <laughs> the problem is when you're encumbered so slowly. Right, so as you can see, it's a bit chilly out there. I'm getting cold. It's frost covering the screen. Right, so I should potentially move that actually because it's probably not the best place for it. So in cupboard for the first one out. Glorious. You can go back. I need to make some plant things as well. Uh, where should we put you then that would actually make sense? You know, sort of by the fucking door. Let's put you... I am going to put you there. So you're A out the way, but you the right place to give me light. So, you need fuel. You need fuel. Did I lose all the fuel that was in there? you have fuel. Oh seriously I lost the grill and everything that was on it as well. Oh my god I had a grill and everything so that's what I was able to do the grill to meet but oh my god that was a fucking huge mistake destroying that. Can I create a grill? No, but I can probably craft one, can't I? This is probably taking me far too much longer. Uh, so food cooking. Campfire. I seriously need a fucking thing to make. You serious? I don't know what to fight for that. Oh my fucking god. Right. We're going to cancel that. We're going to craft one of you. Because I had a pot and everything. I think I can make a pot, I can craft a pot still. Right, 
the stuff my shit. So you can go, you can go, you can go, you can go, I'll have them just in case. Uh, actually no I don't need them, I don't need them. I have a first aid to that, you can go. I will keep you here just in case. Uh, get rid of sledgehammer. Just go so gun one, gun two, gun three. I will have food on me. Right. Let's kill some zombies. This is of course as long as they don't overrun me. So the hammer started jet at six o'clock. I'm crashing you just in case I didn't get down in time. And you have you made a grill yet? You have. Okay, so we're going to turn you off. Now, how can I make a pot? So I make that you. as well see I had all this on here and I had the fucking beaker but obviously I didn't realise you'd lose it by fucking destroying it thank you for grilled meat see they take the same amount 13 It's not standing the fire. It's probably not the best of ideas to stand in the fire. Now I'm dehydrated, I wonder why. I just stood in a fucking fire. Seven. When does the horde start? I thought it would have started by now. Well, no, it's still light. So it doesn't start when it's dark. So my thought is if I stand here, they will attempt to come and get me here first. And obviously I have this to shoot at them, which I will obviously pick up. Now let's... So you give 15. You only give 10. Okay, so... We will use you. and stuff you can scrap them and they'll become there you go iron so that's what it looks like iron when you find it in the wild as it were candle candle candles oh yes make sure all of my guns are fully loaded should be here soon So, light it first and throw it. Presumably. Presumably. I just thought. I had that making a pop, didn't I? Just got turned around. So, you're still good. It is going dark. Can I see the sky's red? The blood mood. Was it blood mood? But since this is one of the few places they can actually get to me without going over the pit, yet they seem to avoid the pit, which is a good thing, which means I can ton channel them into a certain area. What I should really do is have a 
like a fire or something down there so I can see because it does get very fucking dark. What am I doing actually? Yep, <laughs> that makes it much better. What do I keep stuff on? What is that? Can I just... I've been wondering what that was for days. Just random crunching happening from nowhere. So I found somewhere else is going to be another potential base. But I don't know if I want it in the snow biome. I might, because I've been exploring a little bit over here, but not massively. And obviously I found a desert area down here. So what I might do, because this place is like literally just hemorrhaging resources. I might go for somewhere along here and like build my first actual base rather than just nicking someone else's house and Oh hello see that makes it much fucking easier to see me. But that is cheating. <laughs> Now this thing will shoot as well, this thing will shoot anything that gets in the way as it were. So, it is the blood moon, it is 8 o'clock. There are the zombos. But it's just like the third one, so the back, last one was pretty bad. As in they actually broke through my defense, but then I didn't have the patrol bridge and everything then, I only had one layer of spike traps. After they broke through from the second one, I kind of went a bit OTT. Do you think? But then again, I've only got one layer across here. Am I like banging my head? Is that why? You can bang your head. <laughs> Come on, where am you? So this they call they call this the blood moon when the whole sky goes red and zombos appear everywhere. Well, where are you? Hopefully that tote doesn't shoot me. Yes, it's very scary, very ambiotic. But where are the bad boy, bad guys? I was about to say bad boys then. There are you. Maybe it's not till ten o'clock. Maybe it isn't till ten. But yeah, eventually get vehicles and stuff in this game and all sorts. Vehicles. Oh, that's locked because it's still cooking. Okay. Oh, they can only be carrying stuff to town. That's very annoying. Yes, we get it. You're unfit and out of breath. Right, where are they then? Did nobody send the invite? Where are you? It's nearly time. They've got to be here soon, surely. Surely, surely.
so yeah it's 10 o'clock when they start arriving oh hello really Keep the turret to the down one. She put me in my hand. That's why I have to So they are slowly getting through that spike. Um, excuse me, fatty. So I'll be able to slowly break their way through. You're out of ammo. So they are slowly getting through, there's only one barrier left. They're breaking through the back. They're breaking through the back. So the point of this is obviously some of those spike traps are going to kill them. But some of them are going to be forced up here. So I'm going to put you there. So yeah, they are breaking through. So yeah, they won't all come the same way. That's a shame, I thought they would. Come on. Come on. Die to the spike traps. They not even made it in the fucking house yet. Really? I mean, to tell me they haven't even made it in the fucking house yet. After all that. And they haven't even made it in the house yet. Are you having a fucking giraffe? So I have a shotgun. So they haven't made it that way. They haven't attempted that way. haven't gone through their spike traps. I had a bird. Is that the end of it? Seriously, is that the end of it?
I could have sworn I heard one smashing through the ship. So we got to here because that was all spiked off. Obviously they decided that this was the easiest route. But they didn't get any further. Somehow. So yeah, that was the hood apparently. I'd have thought they'd done better than that to be honest. Is there another wave? Yeah, don't stand too close to them when you put them down. That fucking hurt. Twat. Fix it. Oh, uh, okay. I thought it would have been more dramatic than that, to be honest. Then again, I did shoot a load of them, so that probably helped last time. I just kind of sat up here like a bitch. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so we will start you making meat again. in case we we'll decide to come with us. Can I not make a better axe yet? So that's the right ammo uh, issue. Iron fire axe. So okay, I can actually make a hammer now. I couldn't make a hammer before. So <coughs> excuse me. So I can actually make that. So thirty iron, though. Behave yourself. Forged iron. How many can I do? Craft. So my first going ballistic. So we're going to make iron. What else do I need? Uh, did, 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 wood, which I've got loads of. Leather and duct tape. Leather and duct tape. Oh, bone and water plus a pot means glue. And glue plus fabric equals duct tape. If you're struggling to find it. Now my computer's beeping at me. Oh, good for you, computer. Right. So I've got one forged iron. <laughs> okay, so duct tape. I had everything or something. It's just the iron I'm wearing. Which I need ten of. Ten iron, seven, eight. Oh, almost. Pot. That's gonna go on there eventually. You finished it? Yes, you have. You have finished. Good little boy. So we'll turn you off. We'll put a pot on you so that I can now make fucking glue again. Right, so let's see. What I'm going to do is. Right, 
excess food. Let's go to go. Oh, I need a leather as well, didn't I? So if that's excess, you can go in there. Uh, broken me, I don't need broken glass. Ah, I need me, so we are going to scrap you. Let's give us a little bit more. Oh, I should now be able to make. Why can't I make it? Oh, it's 30, not 20. Twat. Uh, so I have to wait a while for that. So, but yeah, these higher level tools all um, need repair kits which are iron, forged iron and duct tape or things. So right. Right. Come on, come on, come on. Give me more. So I'm gonna pick up my spare iron. Where am I fucking doing? Which is one. Fabulous. So nails I believe tend to so what you can do as well with your forge, say for example like this you're making stuff, you can and you can do that as well, and it will reload it as it's doing it, if that makes sense. Five. Yeah. Now. Now. Give me a decent axe because I've been using this piddly thing for far too bloody long. But then again, I don't really need it for chainsaws, for um, wood, to chop down wood and stuff, because I have a fucking chainsaw. It's just the amount of fuel the bloody thing takes. So yes, behold the almighty chainsaw. With the copious amounts of fuel. But yeah, this has got the an extra fuel tank on, which I found as well. Uh, let's dump you in there as well. Let's dump you in, because I'm going for the take of what I need. I am doing this one. The rest of the shit. So, duct tape. So, can't. To be honest, I don't need anymore. Actually, what I might do is um, I might just scrap you. Gun, gun, gun. You can stay in there as well because I don't use you normally. Uh, the turret I might just leave on the side just in case. More stone. Oh my god, we're still doing it. Some things do take forever to craft. It's like the jaw bridge that took like 15 minutes, I think. Um, like real time 15 minutes. I am wet. <laughs> Where the hell are all the times to get excited, you know? Anyway, uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. Yeah. So it's three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Are there any footprints anywhere? Are there any footprints anywhere? Yes, no, you different. Are there any? Let me know. No, there's not. So, where's the drops? 
next one. I thought I heard a plane, not that long ago. So yeah, there's loads of this map that I haven't fucking explored. But I figured out with, like, for this, for example, it says all of this is unexplored. But I can't go any higher than that because that's when I start getting affected with radiation. And the same for this desert. Is it the desert? No, it's the same for this way. I couldn't go any further that way, so this whole section of the map, because of supposedly radiation. You finished yet? There we go. Come here, my beauty. Now that's a fucking axe. Right, let's replenish some of these decimated defences. Can I not repair? Can I not repair with a fucking axe? So I still need to use a stone axe to repair stuff. Are you having a giraffe? Are you actually having a giraffe? Or maybe I just created the wrong axe. You are cold. Wow. Well, you are not at a hundred percent. Sometimes these can be really finicky to get to work. I'm gonna have to do it from the other side. they tried to break out, was it literally just that one end? So you're all fine. And obviously it was back here they tried to break into as well. Oh stop being so cold you little bitch. So yeah I still need a stone axe. So I can only use that axe for actually chopping wood. Oh my fucking god. You are freezing. So you now have a double leg. Ooh, they tried to get in through you. Didn't they? They tried to get in through you. Can I destroy it with the axe? Let me know if I can destroy it with the axe. Don't do a lot. But I think this is more for like breaking down doors and stuff. Which it seems really annoying that this is the, literally the only thing that can repair and upgrade stuff. I thought the axe would do it. There's a gap there. I need to make more spine traps. How many can I make into 69? Oh, a very good number. Anyway, let's not do that. Let's do... What am I doing this? Let's do 20. So while that's building, I'm actually freezing my gym myself. Uh, let's go over here. You are cold. Well, man the fuck up. I am about to go after a crate. Have I got loads of my inventory? I have, but I've got a fair bit of space still, so I should be okay. Come on, bitch baby, let's go. I 
Oh, okay. It's because I'm making them. I forgot I made I put spike traps on to be made for a second. I was talking about spike traps from beating up a bush. If only. So yeah, that hold wasn't anything epic, but obviously, the bigger the hordes get, the worse. The longer the hordes are, and the longer you play, the more difficult the hordes get, supposedly. So, what? So I've been recording for an hour. Fuck me. I'm going to get this box. Then I think I'm going to leave it there. So yeah, this was just a little taste of what seven days to what seven days to die is like. Now, obviously, I saw other people on YouTube play this. I thought that looks interesting. It looks like my type of game. So I bought it, downloaded it, and yeah, it is. I mean, it's a shame. It's as buggy as it is, but then again, it's only 18. Was it 18 at the moment? I believe. But I wish the food wasn't so difficult to make if that makes sense. Some of the um, requirements don't quite make sense. Like five normal meat to make one grilled meat. It's like what? That doesn't seem to make sense. And yeah, you can search through like trash and stuff and you're going to be on. Where are you? Excuse you. You fucking asked your opinion. So it's literally miles away. It's a fair way away from this. You're not going to get through that fence. I think I'm literally going to run around it before you can get through that fence. But yeah, it's always good to. Especially stuff that's untouched. Because if it's untouched, it means nobody's checked to it before. Feathers. I don't want bloody feathers. But untouched just means that unless you've opened it, well, it means no one's opened it before. I hadn't realised that before, it actually makes um, noises as you run a little bit. That's kind of cool. And obviously the biggest problem being in a cold area like this is the more cold you are, the more like of your stamina gets drained. Which can be really. There's wood there. Let's try my axe on some wood. You're not that great, if I'm being honest, for wood. So then again, I found my chainsaw, so I shouldn't even be able to make a chainsaw. So that is like well above my level. So this away. There's a pig there that can fucking jump. I think I'm probably just going to use my handgun. I, I blew its face off. Like I said, always get food when you find it. Because there are points in this game that it's like I went through, I think it was like two days, two whole days, and I couldn't find any food. It was desperate times. Ah, an army camp. I think I've read you a few times already. Chemistry station. No, I haven't used you. Because I've never come across one of the work chemistry station. But I've paid notice to anyway. What are you? Fucking birds! How are you alive? Fucking explain yourself. Oh, that's woken you up, hasn't it? Excuse me. Oh, fuck me. Here comes your brother and all. 
you move fast for big guy. And you hurt. Back off. Right. Uh craft so um Yes. I'll take them, I don't need them. What else, what else, what else? Concrete. So I could destroy there's lots of I could actually a waste of a bullet to be honest. Yeah, you only take one shot to kill. What's in the hole? Sports back. Aloe vera cream is always welcome. What are I have plenty of? Thank you very much. So, we're going to take this because we like wood. Wood has a lot of uses. There's a load around the side as well, question mark. Yep. Fuck me, this takes so much stamina to use this piss and thing. Is it actually quicker than this? One swing. Well, that was worth the fucking iron, and that wasn't it. Right, am I going to search you anymore? No, nope, there's probably more good things, but I just want to show you the drops and what type of things you can find in the drops. Obviously. There are, there's like, there's a lucky looter perk, I think, that allows you to gain better things from drops. And obviously, if you can get that, get it. Because there's a lot of looting in this game. Now, I haven't got all of the way to Lucky Looter, so some of the things I'm getting aren't the best. However, there's another fugly one over there. Hello! Ooh, stop looking like a tart, please. Stand still so I can shoot you in the face. I told you to stand still so I could shoot you in the face. Why don't they ever listen? My stamina is quite low. And you're coming towards me. Back off. Thank you. So yeah, you don't have to have guns <laughs> to survive in this game. Okay, see what I mean by problems with... I'm infected. I have antibiotics at home. Jeez, there she is. There's a spike. Never mind, there's another turret. I will happily take you. Iron helmet, I think that's what I've currently got on. Um, I will use. What's this? What's that mean? Does that mean I'm being cured of infection or does that mean I have infection? Oh, I'm going to be very encumbered. Do I have an iron helmet? 
what do I have? I have, I have. Look at me. <sighs> what level one? Okay, so they're both the same. Oh, scrap you. What does this mean? Oh, it means I'm being treated. Oh, so I can treat up to 25%. I see. So uncomfortable. Right, where's home? Home is that way, and home's a fair way away, and I'm now thirsty? Question mark? How am I thirsty? Right, let's slowly make our way home. <laughs> so, yes, you can get really good things from. Drops. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here because I don't want to bore you too much. I've already been doing this for over an hour. This is the problem with this game. You can lose yourself in it. So anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Again, I don't know if this is going to be a daily, weekly... Well, not daily. I don't know if this is going to be like a consistent video or if it's going to be um, like once in a while type of thing, I haven't quite decided on that yet. But anyway, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.